Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I've been meaning to mention for a while now that, uh, according to Steam, that's actually not what this game is called. It's officially listed under the name Resident Evil Revelations slash Biohazard Revelations. And yes, this franchise is in fact called Biohazard in Japan. I guess they didn't call it that in English because they weren't allowed to copyright the word. At least not in 1998, who are trying to copyright single words all the fucking time these days. Ah, the casino. Noted. But, uh... Yeah, I guess Resident Evil was meant to just vaguely refer to the fact, oh, bad shit's going down, and the whole game takes place inside a giant mansion. I don't know. Um... The point is that for some reason the Steam listing lists both names. I will say this, though. It was like that with RE4 as well. And unlike that game, at least this one doesn't have its title written in all lowercase letters. Which is just weird. I can't help but notice, so I can't really see it here, on the map, yeah, uh, there's a red door there. Which means I will eventually be able to use this, just not now. Anyway, random tidbits with the title aside, last time, we murdered the shit out of the Skag dead, and then I spent a couple minutes just faffing around because I wanted to recover. Uh, this time, I'm going to use the key he dropped. Oh boy. to get into the emergency communications room. So we can reach out and touch somebody. Raymond! Looks like we both were too late. What are you talking about? Huh. Ignorant creatures who do not yet know of us. The time Both of you. Has come. Look. Thou wilt that I renew. The desperate grief drills my heart already. Evil masked friend. Dare I speak of it? But if my words be seen. That may bear fruit of infamy to the traitor whom I know. Speaking and weeping shalt thou see together. I know not who thou art, nor by what mode thou hast come down here. The world is in our hands. This is the tea of this virus, and we are equipped to infect one fifth of the Earth's waters. something linked to this ship, O'Brien. Yes, I read you. I'll send Quint and Keith. What? You two, get ready to move. Uh, I hate Snow. <laughs> Snow hates you. Just find out anything you can on Veltro. Am I going to be playing as these guys now? 
I really can't tell with this game. I don't see a thing. Uh. I thought the Mediterranean was just like a big lake. Be patient. Finding a ship at sea is like finding a needle in a haystack. No kidding. But that still doesn't solve our problem. Hey, are you even listening? No, nope. find you, Jill. I promise. Hmm. Looks like I should have ended the last episode by doing this. Achievement unlocked. We'll find you, Jill. Campaign. Clear episodes one to three. Well, you know, shoulda, woulda, coulda. I, uh... Can't exactly stop the video here to make it perfect for, you know, continuing, starting the next one with previously on. But I'll deal with it. Beat 150 enemies. PC 356 for campaign use. Raid mode stages 4 to 7 unlocked. I should probably check that out. It's probably really hard by yourself. Abyss virus. Interesting. I don't think he's actually uh, quoting Dante. I think the uh, the actual words go something like, "All hope abandon ye who enter here." Episode 4, A Nightmare Revisited. Oh, it's different down there now. We are Veltro, vengeful messages from the depths of the Inferno. Terrorists. We killed these bastards already. It looks like you missed a few. And they're on this ship. And now they want to use the virus to stage another attack. They seek the truth about Terra Grigia and vengeance. Jill, look at this. The whole ship's out of power. The ship's running on emergency nope. power. But the comm system needs the main power. Oh. We need to bring the engine room back online. Well, that won't be easy. If only I was Isaac Clark. That's his whole thing. Safety procedures. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, safety procedures. Because this vessel was involved in a prior accident, safety standards that go beyond those outlined in the Maritime Safety Act have been introduced. All crew must read and study this manual to be prepared to act in case of an emergency. 1. The Queen Zenobia has two unique power generators. If the main power generator should fail, the backup generator in the bilge will compensate for its loss and supply the entire ship with operating power. Okay. Uh, 2. This ship contains vertical and horizontal bulkheads that automatically divert water in case of flooding. In the event of an emergency, the bulkheads can be operated by... Sorry, I'm just adjusting something. By the control system in the bilge. This system will continue to operate even after sustaining minimal damage. 
Hmm. What? Oh, I thought it said five out of nine there. Weird. I don't know how I misread that. The communication system- this communication system has been destroyed too! Except it's this one, over here. Right, I just- fuck you. Um... You have just realized... It shows that previously on sequence every time you load the game. So I can just cut it out of this footage and start the next video with it anyway. Bonus! Just checking. So... I don't know the whole story of the PlayStation games, but I do know that the whole Raccoon City uh, nightmare... Whoa. Raymond. Take it. You might need it. Like you said, turning on the power won't be easy. Picked up Iron Anchor Key. Great! That key will get you through the casino on the first floor. Then you'll find a lift to take you to the bilge. But tell me something first. You didn't see any other FBC members here, did you? I can't reach my partner, Rachel. Damn it. I haven't heard from her since she went to the bilge. Oh shit! That woman who got murdered up against the window. Wonder if that was her. I told you the casino entrance is on the first floor hall. I told you the casino entrance. Oh great, is on but the floor hall. fuck! I got distracted. Why am I going to the casino? Okay, it's got more firepower. Let's try this out. Oh, right. doesn't have more firepower. I don't understand. I'm confused. Oh, I can't actually go back. I hit X to bring go over this menu, but I have to close... Oh, you have to hit, just hit B to go back out. Whatever. I don't understand. Why would you use this one? Oh, because it has more slots for customizing. Well, at the moment, I don't have more things to put on it, since I have no interest in using uh, Burst 1. So for the time being, I'll stick with this. Should we look for this Rachel woman? After we bring back the ship's power. Yeah, maybe that wasn't her. I just, I just figure, you know, only woman I've seen. And when you search the body, Jill, I think Jill said something about. Maybe she's here from another organization, or something like that? Yeah, I was gonna say, the whole nightmare in Raccoon City 
was because of the T virus, which turns people into zombies. I think it was used to create the monsters in those games. But, uh... When it just randomly gets into people, it turns them into zombies. I don't know the entire story of that. Might be interesting to go back and play the remakes of, uh... Actually, Resident Evil 1 is the only one that currently has a, a, a thing on Steam, I think. But they're working on HD remakes of Resident Evil 2. And, let's face it, 3 can't be far behind. I don't know why I said remakes. So I have to assume the T-Abyss virus is one that's meant to be transmitted through water? I also have to assume it's what turned those people into horrible slime monsters. Whoa. This isn't creepy at all. I see that! Oh good, fish. No bad can possibly come of that. The power is out. I'm just gonna take a screenshot now. Before they inevitably turn into monsters and try to kill me. Oh, it's a button, that's what. Neptune's wave. This is just a texture. I don't think I'll actually be able to use any of these. But the uh, the prize uh, guide is uh, a really nice touch. I have to admit, I was not expecting the nautical theme when I started this game. Making them all the same machine. Okay, fine. They totally wouldn't do that in a real casino. Well, I guess this is one time the house didn't win. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, hey! Picked up handgun, handgun ammo case. What's that bring it to? Fuck, 120. Wonder if I could go back and get that huge crate of ammo from the, uh... The room where I found the skag dead. You know what? I'm actually gonna try. Jump cut. This crate is back. Alright, that's cool. Look who else is back. Oh. Ah, oh, it's one of those spiky assholes. Damn. Oh, there you are. Saw one. The fuck was that back there? Where did you get that? Oh. Was uh. 
actually really satisfying. Okay, okay. It really irks me that killing these guys with headshots doesn't seem to be any easier than shooting them anywhere else. Oh shit. How bizarre. I just want to see if I can interact with the garbage. Oh, god damn it. Oh, hey, shit! Even. Uh oh. Man. Fuck this. Let's get out of here. Oh, good. Well, I've already lost my way past. What the fuck is this? I couldn't duck past him. I didn't even see how much it gave me. Which is less than optimal. Let's just get the fuck out of here. going down that way. I don't remember where the other giant can of ammo was. I wonder what the point of that is. Not associate Resident Evil with endlessly spawning assholes. Whoa! Oh, right. Yeah, this does that. Victims of the TFS virus turn into gooey lamprey monsters and become total assholes. Nine out of ten infected were heard to say that, uh, they don't like immigrants. And that asylum seekers should go back to where they came from. Well, sorry about that. I know that wasn't the, uh, best material I've ever done. Send on whatever this is. Casino staff's report. Finally found out how to bypass the security in the VIP room. That room is reserved for all the high rollers, so I've always been curious what goes on in there. It's so easy. All you have to do is feed coins to the casino girl next to the door, and you can bypass any security. You have to hit the precise weight. 107 grams. A small price to pay for access to the VIP room. I'm going to assume the casino girl is not a person. 
Ah. Looks like I placed the coins here. Subtle. Oh, there's a power generator. I'm not going to turn that on just yet. I didn't think so. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil Revelations. When the power comes back on, and in all likelihood, all hell breaks loose. Say <laughs> la vie. Later!